Well, the work I do falls into two general categories. A, a lot of the work that I do relates to on the ground uh, uh, studies to understand how to better provide services. Basically, it's about innovating health services and kind of moving it away from the clinic, moving it away from the acute care setting, the hospital, into more community kinds of settings. So we do work in uh, working with community health workers, working with telehealth and so on. Um, and also looking at different ways of developing more complex kind of multi-component interventions like integrated services. The other area that I work in is, is, is more looking at how we can develop policy, how we can develop health clinical and public health policy that's more um, linked to the evidence, to scientific evidence. And um, in that area, we do basically technology assessment. Um, I um, work with uh, professional organizations, with government agencies who are making decisions about whether to support the development of or the distribution of um, or the increased use of specific technologies or the payment for technologies. I think there are three major options. I think one, one possibility is academics. There's uh, certainly a lot of interest in having more uh, teachers, especially clinical uh, clinicians who, can, who understand health services research. So uh, clinician researchers and general health services research researchers. But there's also opportunities in non-academic settings, in industry, uh, especially people who are interested in health economics, health technology assessment, um, uh, so pharmaceutical industries, consulting companies, and so on. Sometimes I guess I worry that some of them might try to grab some of our graduate or some of our students before they even leave the program. Um, and then uh, there are government entities that are very interested in, in having uh, people with the skills that, are, that, that they develop during their, their PhD program. First of all, um, I'm director of the program and, and it's a big priority for me as, as director of HSSR to uh, make sure that our program is a high quality uh, track within the IBM program. Uh, I'm a mentor within the program and, and I have one of, the, one of the students is, I'm primarily their mentor for, the, for their degree, so for their thesis. And then um, I also teach, we have a core education program which um, we do in the spring and I teach in that program. Well, I think the two things that I really like about, uh, uh, about the IBM program, one is, is that we have a good uh, ratio between the students and, and, the, um, and the mentors so that there's an opportunity to have a pretty, pretty much a day-to-day -day contact, uh, very high contact with the students. Uh, the other, as I mentioned, we have a, a, a core uh, course within health services research so that we actually uh, have this, this, even the students who are not uh, specifically involved in, say, survey research, they get to learn basic concepts and ideas that they need to leave, a pro that you want them to leave a program knowing. You don't want uh, people not to be exposed to certain concepts. So we really tr make this effort to, to expose them to the broad range of health service disciplines within health services research. And I think that's a real positive.